Hello everyone, my name is Nathaniel Adoy. Here are a few guidelines on how learners can use um, Seesaw application and explore the learning activity on Seesaw. So the first thing is that your teacher creates a class and um, create an account for all the pupils. After the teacher creates an account for every child, the teacher generates a unique learning code for all the pupils in her class. Every child has a unique learning code, which means that with your learning code, you can sign into your account, post journals, respond to um, learning activities and assignments. With your learning code, you can sign into your CISO application anywhere in the world. And the beautiful thing is, every child has a unique learning code, which means that other pupils in your class don't get to see your work. So you can ask your teacher for your learning code. Now, the learning code generated for you expire after 90 days, but never to worry, you can always generate a new one at any time. And never share your code on social media or any other public forum. Keep your codes like you keep your password. How do pupils or learners use their home learning codes? Now, the first thing after you receive your learning code is to go to app.seesaw.me on your computer through your browser your, or your Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or Mozilla Firefox. You can easily type the app.seesaw.me and it would redirect you to a page where you would select that you are a student. And then you would enter the um, home learning code provided for you by your teacher. Your teacher would also provide you with a barcode, which is an alternative means to signing in instead of using your um, CISO home learning code. All you do is to scan the barcode using the QR code reader that you'd see on CISO. However, you can also download CISO application on your iOS or Android device. If you are using an iPhone, you can download CISO class app from your app store. Or if you're using an Android, you can download CISO class app from your um, Google Play store. You follow the same process. You click I'm a student and then you enter your home learning code. This is just an illustration on how you can do that. I have explained this earlier. Just follow this is illustration to create your account and sign into your class. Now, when you sign into your class, this is your work area as a pupil or as a learner. Now, whenever your teacher posts an activity or an announcement you would see it you will see a notification in inbox here the inbox here would show you that there's a there's a there's either an announcement or an activity posted or a lesson posted by your teacher once you click inbox it would pop up here so here is where you see the announcement or the activity posted by your teacher how do students or learners respond to lessons posted by their teachers teachers regularly post lessons for pupils these lessons can be in form of a video or an audio or pdf file which means that you need to watch read or listen to the lessons when you are done um, um, studying the lessons uploaded by your teacher you are expected to acknowledge that you have seen and studied the lessons using the comments section now the comment section this is how it looks with this comment section 
a learner can click the comment area here ask questions post an observation or acknowledge or receipt another thing is that learners can like their teachers activity their, their teachers um, activity or lessons by using the like button so don't forget you are expected to always acknowledge that you have studied the lessons posted by your teacher another thing is that student must understand that sometimes the lessons or activity posted might be tiny if the lessons or if the lesson is too tiny you can click view original to see it in a larger form how do students respond to activities posted by their teachers teachers regularly post activities assignment for pupils this will always be visible here where you can see activity so all you need to do is to tap the activity button and then it will be visible just like this so it will be visible just like this you can click add response to answer the activity by the time you click add response you would see the instructions on how to answer the questions or assignment posted by your teacher lastly pupils can add to their journal by typing add with this add button student can also do their assignments and every other necessary things that they want to do with um, the CISO application so basically with this few um, instructional guide i'm sure that um, this would help you to enjoy the CISO application and um, um, use it effectively thank you very much have a great time